Hello everyone, welcome to Ubisoft. My name is Amit and today we are going to see how to download STS and how to run our first web application with the help of Spring Boot. So to write a Spring Boot program, first we need to download STS, okay, which is a tool where we can write a code. So it's very simple. So for that, what we have to do, we have to type on the Google WinRAR. Next step is click on download, then click any version, download. You can see that WinRAR is downloaded. Okay, so go to the download folder, double click on that WinRAR. Yes, install. Okay, <clears throat> done, that's it. That WinRAR is installed. Now the next step is we have to download STS. So type here Spring Tool Suit. Okay, Spring Tool Suit. Now you can see the website here, Spring Tool Suit. So click here and here you can see multiple versions. So if you are using the Windows, then you have to click on, on, on these options. So here it is downloading the window specific version. So click here. Now it will take time. Okay. The size of that Spring Tool Suit is 700 MB. Definitely it will take a time. But instead of that, I have already downloaded this STS. So what I can do, I will, I'm going to extract this existing STS file. So if you see here, I have already downloaded STS. So what I will do, right click, then extract all. Okay. Or we have another easy option. Instead of that, what we can do, right click, open with WinRAR. Okay, it is a fastest way to extract. Then close this and extract to. Okay. Yes, all. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. So it is uh, extracted. Now you can see this folder here. It is extracted. Now click here click here and you will see this icon so double click here that will take first time it will take uh, some more time like one minute or two minute okay depends on your machine speed but i already opened my open sts so i can show you okay let me close that existing program okay okay so basically i have already installed okay these things that that sts so i'm able to see this stuff similarly once you install and once you open the sts you will see such kind of dashboard okay or ui now let's say i want to create a normal java program so for that what i will do file new and java project okay let me repeat if i want to create a normal java application so file new and java project and here you can give any name like let's say test or demo and finish Okay, let me let me repeat. Let me delete existing application and let me repeat. Okay, what I will do? File, new, Java project, and project name. Let's say demo. And finish. Now open the Java project. Open here, and you can see the unwanted file. So delete this file. And here in the Java project, right click, new, class. You can write here class name. Let's say calculator. That's it. And you can write your program here but here our our intention is to create a spring boot application so for that again let's see what we can do file new spring starter project make sure whenever you are creating any spring boot application your internet should be there okay your internet should be at least average now the next thing is here let's say i'm giving the name uh, i want to create a calculator or a web calculator the product name should be web calculator finish and here we have to select spring web then next and then finish okay once you finish you can see this product is created it will take one minute depends on your internet speed okay now you can double click so you will see this type of folder structure if your internet speed is slow so it will take a time to show this folder structure okay once it is created then same type of folder structure will be there now you can ignore all the files you have to just focus on the main folder so src main java here you will see the default folder okay here you will see a default class don't touch that class only right click on this folder new class okay new class now the thing is uh, here uh, provide the class name let's say web calci web calci and finish now the next thing is 
let's say I want to write here calculator. So for that, what I can do, I will just uh, type here int um, addition and then in a comma in b. That's it. Okay, and then a plus b, and here return. This, this is my addition functionality for the calculator. I'm copying paste pasting this all stuff okay to save the time. No addition, subtraction, then division, then multiplication. And here I need to return multiplication. Here I need to return division. Here I need to re return subtraction. Okay, apart from this, I want to make it web application. So for that, there is one annotation, rest, control space, and enter. You will see this import. Now the next thing is at the rate, get mapping. Okay, and the here, here, slash, uh, no, instead of slash, just provide here add, then slash. Okay, and here, E, and here, slash, B that's it okay and here we have to provide at the rate path variable one annotation path variable and one annotation that's it okay so to save the time what i'm doing to do i'm just copy and pasting these things okay here same because uh, only name is different but otherwise all things are same that's it so this is our first uh, web application now how to start that web applications it's very simple you will see that boot dashboard in the bottom left bottom so you will see that your product name so click here and click on green button that red green button your application is started okay so there is something missing okay okay it's my bad here uh, that that url should be different so here the url should be subtraction url should be division okay and url should be multiplication that's it now start the application application started so the default default url of our application is http localhost 8080 okay 8080 slash add let me repeat the url of our application is http base url http slash okay localhost 8080 slash add and then provide the numbers okay so i'm providing numbers here because that url need this a and b two numbers okay integers now hit it you can see 150 okay now i want to multiply so just change the url mul and then uh, here you can let's say 1000 to 550 you can see the result so in that way we can we can create our first web applications and thanks for watching this video